Good afternoon all. So I'm quite enjoying charging these batteries up in the shed and then discharging them again uh, by using them to power my shed fan. So I thought today what I'd do is uh, take one of these things apart, see what's inside. So this is a, an Ozito power exchange 4 amp hour 18 volt. Now they're identical to or very similar to the Einhell ones. In fact, I think Ozito is now being sold as Ozito by Einhell, and they're probably going to drop this name eventually. And I noticed on the back of here that there's actually an EH uh, there. So I'm just wondering whether Einhell always made these batteries for Ozito, which was an Australian brand, um, but now it's all under Einhell. And I've seen these in 5.2 amp hours, I think it is, uh, Einhell power tools in Wix. I think they also sell the 2 amp hour Einhell, um, but I don't have any Einhell stuff as yet, just the Ozito. I've got the 2 amp hour one as well. So there's the 2 amp hour uh, Ozito power exchange battery, and I have a feeling that there's a 3 amp hour, because uh, I've seen it on one of the lawn mowers in uh, home base they're still selling the Ozito tools. Long screws in there, I wonder if these front ones are the same or there are going to be two different types. Soon find out. No they're all the same. Right let's coax this thing open. Have I got all the screws out? Yeah there are only four. So why won't that come apart? Oh, it has. Oh, there's a little uh, retaining clip there. So there'll be one on the other side. Indeed, there is. Oh, that comes apart rather nicely. Let's take that spring off. Is that the same size at each end? I think it is. And uh, yes, that's rather pretty. Oh, that comes together. Comes apart really rather well. Right, this little plastic button fell on the floor. And I've always thought this was rather strange because you've got this angled panel for the lights here. But when you press that button, it actually slides vertically downwards. So you have to press it at a sort of strange angle. Um, but yeah, that works. So let's take a look at these cells first. So these are marked, let's get my pointer. TP lithium ion 3.7 volts. Now I can't see the full code but I think it's ICR 18650 and I'm going to refer to batterybro.com which I'll link to below and that is described as lithium cobalt oxide. So this is a cobalt based cell. Uh, 2000 milliamp hours which makes this 4,000 milliamp hours times 18 volts, hence 4 amp hours. So now let's turn our attention to the electronics. Now this is the most negative uh, end of the battery and that is connected to the source of this MOSFET. The drain appears to be connected to terminals up here. Let's just check uh, which way around it would be that way around. So yes, that's the negative end of the battery. We've got an NTC here which is the next connector so that's negative temperature coefficient uh, something. Mm, is that going to be a temperature sensor? Possibly. Uh, not connected. An ID which is not actually fitted and positive is over this side. Now positive looks like it tracks up to the most positive end of the cell array. So this MOSFET will pull this negative pin when this MOSFET is turned on it will pull this negative pin of the tool down to the negative potential of the battery so this looks like it's the main cutoff MOSFET when the battery gets low it will stop you using the tool and taking the battery down below minimum voltage. Now this device here is undoubtedly a microcontroller I'll try and get a number in a moment but the reason I say that is because we have a little fuel gauge here, so that's fully charged. I've been charging these in the shed. Uh, that drops to two dots and then one dot. 
then a flashing dot and then I think it speeds up the flashing can't quite remember but certainly one thing that happens is if you're running this and you run it really low this uh, LED will start flashing even without pressing this button so there's a certain amount of intelligence here and that must be some sort of program in that controller this chip over here is really quite interesting uh, but I'll come back to that the microcontroller and I don't know whether you can see that but it looks like a TS1102A no idea whether that's look upable and I, in fact I'm not going to bother because it's just a microcontroller running some code let's turn our attention to this chip now is that the right way round yeah so it's an AF 10s20 so that little chip is this thing the af 10 s20 and it's an analog front end for multi-cell battery monitoring and balancing uh, so we've got charger control for three to five lithium ion or lifepo 4 batteries uh, discharge control so that presumably will be uh, possibly fed through the mcu to go to that cutoff MOSFET, that MOSFET there. Uh, it's also got um, an LDO regulator built in to provide power for your external MCU and other protections. So it says here, the AF10S20 is a highly integrated battery cells, charge discharge balancing management analog front end. Now it says with a microcontroller, but I've got a feeling it means to be used in conjunction with a microcontroller for three to five serially connected lithium ion or lifepo4 battery pack so the question is is this actually doing balancing let's have a look yes it looks like it might be because it says the integrated battery balance circuitry in the af 10 s20 provides a shunt current of 50 milliamps now that's not a lot without the need of any external transistors the chip also includes important features such as integrating audio and stuff like that now most power tool battery packs don't do balancing i don't think um, it's hard to see how they can do balancing i mean sometimes you see an array of sort of five components all lined up but i just get the impression that most don't do balancing i noticed recently that the ryobi uh, the new type the high energy type says intelligent management uh, to balance your cells implying that the old ones never did balancing but does this battery have balancing at 50 milliamps which as i say is very precious little by virtue of this little analog front end chip interesting now i've just opened up the two amp hour uh, pack and it looks identical to all intents and purposes in fact the pcb looks actually identical it's got the same markings on it so i'm not sure that there's any difference between uh, these two circuit boards so other things to note um it says rt2 here and there's a couple of black wires they're pretty tiny actually and they run down here under this taped uh, this bit of tape here so i'm presuming there's a temperature sensor uh, in there measuring sort of approximate cell temperature it took me a while to find RT1 but it's actually there and I think it's soldered onto the board and so what it appears to be doing is measuring the temperature of uh, this MOSFET and therefore I suppose getting an estimate um, of whether you're overstressing <laughs> this battery and uh, presumably this is fed through the microcontroller which is there and it will turn that MOSFET off if either RT1 or perhaps RT2 goes over temperature and of course um, under temperature should be a thing as well because you don't want to be charging lithium cells if the temperature temperature is significantly below zero degrees C so there it is there are the uh, 10 cells that make up the Ozito Power Exchange 4 amp hour uh, lithium power tool battery pack. So is this a rare example of a lithium battery pack which actually does have cell balancing, albeit only at 50 milliamps, by virtue of this AF10S20 chip? It's interesting. 
So let's put this back together. Uh, that sloping button goes in there. So like I say, although this is angled, you don't push it at the angle. You have to try and push it vertically downwards into the pack and it just feels slightly odd. But uh, yeah, this does come apart really rather nicely. Uh, so I'm trying to get those LEDs into those positions. And then when you press that, you can see the fuel gauge. And let's put the back back on, which must go that way round. Well, this always happens. When I put this together, it feels hot. Oh, it's probably because that has been in the sun on my desk. It just worries me. I think, what have I done to start making this thing get warm? But anyway, that's it. Ozito Power Exchange, 4 amp power lithium ion battery pack. Does it have cell balancing? Let me know what you think. Cheerio.